Yo guys, welcome back to my PC Show Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a Nido Queen deck one last time here. Before it rotates, Nido Queen is one of the coolest stage two Pokemon in standard right now. And it will be rotating. And I have tried many combos with Nido Queen before, right? Nido Queen Crobat, Nido Queen Or Beetle. But now we're gonna be playing Nido Queen with Inteleon, which I think is actually a really cool new partner for the deck. Probably Nido Queen's new best friend because Inteleon's quick shooting is a great car ability to complement Nido Queen. Um, Nido Queen does 260 damage if you have. Have a full bench of evolutions 260 is just shy on a few pokemon but thanks to quick shooting we can make that do 280 we can even reach numbers on v maxes plus we also get the drizzle engine in the deck which means we make it very easy to get needle queens in play constantly and once you set a needle queen up you have queen's call to search your deck for a pokemon that isn't a gx or ex you do queen's call in combination with drizzle and you can just get a bunch of pokemon to play and on top of that we also have access to sobble with keep calling as another way to just fill up our bench with pokemon Sobbles keep calling plays really well into our attack because we're putting three Sobbles in play on our bench, which means that's three Drizziles, which is a lot of damage for Needle Queen. So yeah, that's the deck. So freaking the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGL pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any PDCGL pack code still, like Chilling Rain codes, Battle Styles, Storm Show Base Set, Rebel Clash, Team Up. Or if you're looking for any other PDCGO code related item, any GX or V promo codes, any of the sleeve codes, collection codes, whatever codes you're looking for, PDCGO, uh, get them at Card Cabin. You can get any codes at Card Cabin. Of course, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin, check them out, and use code LDF. Also, check out the video articles I've been posting. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated. I do a lot of deck profile video articles um, on different decks. So, yeah. So yeah, this is the list I got here now. I know it's a little little weird because this whole gap right here, I know, look, I don't have... I'm, I'm too lazy to go on pubs to try to get another Needle Queen promo here, but yeah, it is what it is. But this deck is a lot of fun to play. Now, yes, you are a Stage 2 deck, and of course, we are in the era where Stage 2s aren't good. Needle Queen might be a decent Stage 2, though. I mean, it hits pretty hard. 260 is good. It can attack for a single energy thanks to triple... And it has an amazing ability that universally gets you Pokemon in play. Once you get one Needle Queen in play, you're pretty much going to chain the rest of your deck pretty well. Uh, it flows like butter. Um, and of course, you are a Psychic type, right? Urshifu is still very popular, so you have a good type in the match. We do have to play one Mew, though. Of course, there's just too much Ben Sniping in the format right now. So we have to play Mew so we can protect ourselves. Uh, if we're against Urshifu, the Mew is already going to be very good because it just allows us, you know, we're already one trying them, but, you know, the Mew doesn't really make a difference in that matchup. For the damage output. Also, same as Zero Aura because it only does 100 damage, and you know we can do 210 with our you know five evolution. So yeah, going the rest of the deck. I mean, bunch of Pokemon search. We are going four level ball, one calm, three evil wind sense. I'm only playing a one quick ball again. The deck has so much universal Pokemon search. I don't think you really have to play like a jillion you know Pokemon search cards. Not to mention the deck's already a little tight on space. Um, four candies, of course, two rod. Two boss and Bruno's. We got Marnie. Of course, we got the brand new Marnie artwork, which is beautiful. We got two research in the deck. One U-turn board. Uh, it's a way to pivot, you know, Sobble and stuff. Four triples for the Needle Queen. Four captures to get more basics. But we also use capture Twin Energy with Needle Queen. If we get an early capture energy on a Needle Ran, that means we can put a Twin Energy down the road also, which is pretty much why we have the four captures for Twins. Um, I also tried out Water Energy in the deck so we can attack with Aqua Bullet, which is not terrible either. Um, but I found capture energy just better. You want to just keep putting basics. You only play... Eight basics in total, even though four of them do allow you to put more in play. Well, call for actually Needle Rain is called Family too. Um, but you get what I mean. Anyways, let's go get some matches and uh let's try Needle Queen one last time and try it with his new best friend, Inteleon. Okay, getting into our first match here. We are up against potentially a Blaziken Zero Aura deck, which kinda scares me because if we prize our Mew, um, we may as well just not even we might as well concede, bro. How are we gonna stop a deck that can destroy our bench? Not even Needle Queen is safe from Zero Aura because it takes 160 damage. Okay. The start is okay. If we can draw a Sobble out here, this hand is actually pretty good. So, what will we draw a Sobble? I mean, that's not bad, but we need a Sobble to make it work. Yeah, and my fears are correct. It is a Zero Aura deck, so our Ben changed it. You'll love to see it. I mean, we can go Needle Queen next turn. Oh, they don't do anything. Sure. All right, well, I'll take it. Now we can do Queen's Calling. We could play Bruno. It's probably just sus. I think we just hold the hand and just get a Sobble and pass. Yeah, my opponent had such a bad start. We can just play it slow, I guess. Well, we can KO the uh, Passimian next turn by attaching Triple Energy. There's the Blaziken. 
There's the Rapid Strike energy. They can't one-shot my Needle Queen with Blaze again. Actually, I'm hoping they don't hit me here with High Jump Kick. I said I was hoping they don't hit me with High Jump Kick. Bro. No, I said don't do it. Damn it, now they can two-shot me. <laughs> Bro, I was like... I'm hoping they don't hit me. We can go Drizzile. Probably just want to Marnie them, right? I mean, they didn't do anything... I, I guarantee you they have Blaze Gun V Max in their hand. I don't care. I'm playing Marnie. I, I'm sorry. No, they have Blaze Gun V Max. They always have it, bro. They always have it. So we're definitely just gonna Marnie here and hope for the best. You know? They definitely have it. We put some damage on them too. Hopefully we get some basics here. We'll have to see. It's not bad. I have Rod too. I think we just level. I don't even want to play the quick ball. To be honest. Okay, we probably okay, I just realized we did prize a Needle Queen. And a Needle Ran. Right? Two in play. Yeah, we priced a Needle Ran and a Needle Queen. We priced two Needle Queens. No, we did price one. What am I saying? We have all of the Inteleons. Um, energy's all in the deck. Well, we priced a Capture, which is fine. All right, not bad, not bad. Get a Sobble. Okay. I mean, we have Evil Wind Send. We can get the... Uh, I mean, I want to play Quick Ball, but I don't want at the same time. Kind of power Lariat for a whopping 70 damage or 60 even. That's even worse. But my opponent doesn't evolve and KO me. We should be okay. We'll see. I had to Marnie them. I mean, we'll see. If they don't get the knockout here, I think we're in a pretty good spot because we need to just have another turn to set up more evolution. So if they don't KO me here, I'm feeling pretty good. Um. Uh-oh. Research. Yikes. Oh, and they got two energy for the Blaziken. Oh, no. No! Stop it, bro. Stop it. However, if they don't get a Zero Aura down, they actually have to awkwardly attach those energy to their bench, which is not terrible, though, to be honest. Um, this is awkward, though. We might have to just swing into this thing with Inteleon. Inteleon can do a decent chunk of damage to again here. I also could just do Keep Calling. I might... I don't know. We'll see. We can Rod, do all that good stuff. Ooh. We can get another Needle Queen here, which we'll have to do. Needle Queen can survive a hit, too, so I don't actually know, to be honest. We can go level ball. Or Drizzile. We can get rare candy. We can go Needle Queen. We get the gang going. Okay. I wish I could play the quick ball though. I would like to get more basics in play if I can. But whatever. We could do Queen's Call quick ball. But it's the same thing bro. <laughs> it's not worth it. Probably going to save Queen's Call too. For after what we got with research. We could hit them here. Which we do have. <laughs> get one basic off of that bruh. Not like this. A whopping one basin. That is not good. Honestly, since we can take a hit here, I am very tempted to just go twin energy to the Needle Ran and pass. Right? Actually, I think we have to attack them here because we can't. They have 260 HP, so we could one shot, but because we didn't get two more basics, we can't we can't knock them out. So I think we have to attack them here to kill them next turn. Yeah, we have to do it. I still don't even know if Mew's in the deck. I keep forgetting to check. There's a Zero Aura. That's what I'm scared of, bro. Like, come on. Let let me let me play the game. All right. So if we prize Mew, we're screwed. <laughs> Zero Aura can get one shot by Needle Queen though with the, the Mew in, on the bench, so that's good. I mean, if somehow they kill my Needle Queen here, if they play like a Leon or something, we can knock him out with Inteleon, I guess, with Waterfall as long as we find the Inteleon quick shooting. I don't know. A little sketched out by the Zero War, though. And we have to play a Bruno. And we don't even get KO'd. I mean, we can Rare Candy another Needle Queen, which we'll probably have to do. And they're... Ugh, this is bad. Ah, this is not good. We need to make sure... Well, we actually have to bench Mew this turn. Dude, we have to bench Mew. Okay, well, let's see if we top deck here. Another Sobble's pretty good. Alright, so Queen's Call. Mew's in the deck, right? It is. That's good. So we can just go double Needle Queen here. That's fine. We can just go with the double Needle Queen. And then Queen's Call for another another Thingamabobber. Grab Mew. Yeah. Make sure Bench mentioned me. We have one Rod left too, so that's good. Do this. Could also not knock him out. But I think we do just take the KO. Yep, definitely take the knockout. Take our three prizes. See you later, Blaziken. You're out of here. Now, how are we going to kill this Aurora is the question next turn. I think we can get there. We just need to find another triple. If we can find another triple. We should be chilling. 
No, not even. So we can't kill Zeraora, but they can't one-shot me either with their attack. We can just kind of chill out for a bit. I mean, we can't use Inteleon against this though, because we are back to Lightning. So we just have to let Nidoqueen sponge a hit. We'll see how it goes. Again, we can't one-shot Zeraora. They could have a boss in hand. Oh, thank heavens. All right, the less turns they boss me, the better. I need a queen. You were a trooper. All right, I see we top deck here. Boss? They're bossy octillery. I mean, they probably just play Tower of Water, though, right? Is that even worth it? Probably not. But, you know, it could be. We're just going to play it slow this turn, I think. I kind of like bossing the Octillery, to be honest, but I don't know. Is it worth it? And they probably can move it, but I guess we have to make them move. I don't know. Do I get Inteleon or do I get Drizzle? Huh. I kind of like getting the quick shootings now. We could also go Mew. Well, do we have Rod in the deck? We do. We could go Mew here. It's not terrible either. I don't really want Needle Queen to take a hit either. I don't really want to take 100 damage. <laughs> mm, but if we go Mew, I mean, we have the Rod though, right? It's not that bad. Could sacrifice Sobble too. And we can't KO this in one hit. I don't know. Let's get Inteleon. No, I think we just have to let Needle Queen sponge a hit. And we're close to winning too, right? We can go quick shooting, hit the active just in case. Going to Needle Queen, boss the Octillery. This could buy us a turn. I think this is fine. I we'll see. I don't know. I, this is tough. It just sucks we weren't able. When we had that one research turn, we just barely got any basics. They're definitely going to move Octillery, right? They always move it. They have Rapid Strike or Tower of Water. But Megum have it, I guess. It was worth it, I think, to play that. They cook another Blaziken down. No, never mind. They quick ball away Blaziken. They get a Sobble. It's fine. All right, do they have a boss's order? They could boss me here. That is a little awkward. They only have... They're down one boss, though. So, And as I say that, of course, they have it. But they actually chase my Mew, which is actually perfectly fine because... Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. The other Zeror gets Crossfist. So we have to play Rod this turn and get Mew back. We can finally kill them, and our Needle Queen didn't take damage, which is actually kind of the important thing. So that actually works out perfectly well in our favor. We can get Mew back this turn and knock out Zero Aura. Perfect. Nice. So we can go... We got the Drizzle off that, which is good, because we actually wouldn't... Because we didn't get a Ball Search card, we actually couldn't have got Mew back, but... We can go Ordinary Rod, we can put back Mew and... Like, I don't even... Do we need Nidoran? I guess, because we can we can use Nidorina. Right? Yeah, we can use another Nidorina. Count as an extra evolution, sure. I'm fine with that. The Queen's Call for Mew. Perfect. This is our last Mew, but they are down two boss. So the chances they have a second boss or a third boss. They might not even play three boss, for that matter. So I think we're fine. Now, where do we want to do quick shooting? I mean, we might as well hit the Sobble. I don't think we have the Zero. Yeah, we'll hit the Sobble. They can't kill my Needle Queen, so we'll hit Sobble. Make him have to evolve it. And here we go. We will take a KO with our Needle Queen. And since they knocked out my Mew, we get to attach another energy next turn. Unless they play Fan of Waves. And we're just in a pretty good spot right now, I think. I'm pretty sure we win. Oh, we get boss. So now we don't even have to do anything else. We can boss for game if somehow my opponent can take another hit with Needle Queen. All right, nice. We're chilling. So I guess I'm actually doing boss was actually better for us than them not doing boss but we also would have killed the zero or either way and then gotten the boss and we could have went twin energy waterfall knockout the drizzle or the octillery anyway so it would have worked out in the end i'm pretty sure oh they're gonna bot they have a third boss in the deck it's a little too late though it's too late plus they don't even have their zero or so even if they cross fist me knock out my mew they still don't get access to cross fist next turn because I'm pretty sure, yeah, one of your other Rapid Strike Pokemon. So you can't do cross. Yeah, they just concede. Whatever, we'll take it. Yeah, Ben Snipe Pokemon, get out of here. To another match here. My opponent did go first, I just noticed. But that means we do get a turn one Sobble. Not a great hand, though, in terms of no way to get a Needle Queen. But if we draw into a Drizzile out, we will guarantee a Needle Queen. So let's see what we're playing against here. Um, ooh, another Rapid Strike deck. We're up against a lot of Rapid Strike decks today. They did Mulligan a lot, though, which is amazing. Four times, too, bro, chill. Oh, what? Still no out to getting a Drizzile, bro? Yo, no way. Okay, somehow we still don't have a way to get much going. But 
Turn one, keep calling is good in my books. Unfortunately, Sobble will go down to his Abstrika without the thing it has. Oh, there we go. There we go. Capture energy. We did prize a Sobble, which is a bit of a rip. Well, I guess we could have gotten Needle Ran there. Yeah, we could have gotten Needle Ran and we could have put more base. Ooh, a bit of a misplay. Should have gotten Needle Ran and not the Sobble, but who cares? Well, I care. But Needle Queen should be tanky enough. To, should survive a hit. Now, do we want to drift off for Bruno or do we want to get Rare Candy? We definitely go rare candy, right? Because we can Queen's Calling for another Drizzile. It's all good. We do have Raw in our hand if we want to put Sobble back. Not sure. I mean, if Sobble lives the turn, that'd be great. It does not live the turn yet. They do have Coordinated Bolt, which will unfortunately do 60 on the dot to kill me. Oh, they had a Marnie anyways. No, our hand. A goodbye hand. And now what are we looking at? Okay, so Bruno. Ah, they do play Zero Aura. Ooh, they do have that annoying Ben Snipe attack. All right, hopefully Mew is not prize. Still promote Nidoran, I think. We could maybe knock him out. Yeah, we can kill them. Got the Nido Queen again. Grab our candy. We have Drizzles? Yeah, just making sure. Because we got the Bruno this turn. We have one sense for Nido Queen. And you can just kind of see why this deck is so nice when it sets up. As you can see, we're just low and like butter. Right, we can Queen's Call. We don't even have to get this. We don't actually have to get the, uh, the thing. Okay. I actually think we have to get Arena here because we do need to put more evolutions to play to KO this because that's 120 HP. We're actually going to be stuck doing 110 damage if we don't put enough in place. We have to go level ball. We could research, actually, instead of doing... Yeah, I think research better than Burno, to be honest, in this scenario. Yeah, just research. Dump the hand. It's all good. Sorry, Intellion. But then we can rod the Sobble and Intellion back, which we might have to do. You say we did prize a few things. Didn't get any more basics, but we do get a KO, which is fine. Knock out this thing, 160 damage. We need to set up for the knockout on the Zero Aura again, but we'll take our prize. Sobble? No. Capture Energy's pretty decent, though. We can try to build up the Needle Queen again so we can keep going with Power Lariat. It could... Uh, we probably have to attach the bench, I guess. I don't know, actually, because it could go Luxray. Luxray does 160 for one energy if they're playing that one. I mean, if not, we can just attach the active and play it safe. But yeah, you can just see how well we're setting up here. We're going to get on the new Queen next turn. We got the Inteleon to work with. Quick shooting. Um, ooh, if they jumping kick me here, that'd be awkward. Okay, they play a Brawly. They have a three-card hand. What are the chances they have a Light Energy? They also probably want to build up Zero Aura, too. They got Blaziken again. So another Zero Aura matchup here. This is going to be a lot of fun. Pulse Station. Tower of Water. Bro. They had the Light Energy. They have a one-card hand, though. So maybe they don't have Luxray. So we'll capture, it's fine. Maybe they don't have Luxray. Wait, did we prize our Mew? Oh, we did. Okay, that's sort of awkward. By sort of awkward, I mean that is very awkward. It's not what we want to be prizing. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. It do be like that sometimes. Now, where do we quick shooting? We can pick out, we can start to... Uh, hit the Blaziken. We could also go after the Remoraid. If they don't evolve into an Octillery next turn, we can knock it out. <clears throat> Which I might like a little bit more. But I also like hitting the Blaziken. So we can smoke it with a Power Lariat. But Dino Queen's gonna fall. Yeah, we'll go after the Remoraid. I don't think that's fine. I think it's fine. Let's go after Remoraid here. Oh, good. I'm gonna get this in play. We're really well set up right now, which is really good. Get another Inteleon. We do run the risk of not getting like a supporter to play potentially because we have no Drizziles left, but it's all good. Who needs Drizzile in 2020, bro? Not me. We can actually, well, okay, now we can hit the Blaze again because if this evolves, you know, then we don't have to hit it anymore. So let's pass. We'll see what their one card hand is. We'll have to Marnie them next turn because we do need to find a twin or a triple here to attack. We got to hope they don't have the other Luxray because there is a Luxray that can, when you evolve it to Luxio, does 160 damage, so it will KO me. I guess they could use the other Luxray too to KO me. I don't know. Then they have to waste an energy attachment, which is both good and bad. The big thing is, is we did prize our mute. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, but they could still cross fist me, though, unless we get a boss. No. Nope. Now, this is a little awkward because now we run the risk of getting... Well, okay, here's what we can do. We can quick shooting the, this thing in KO. We actually don't have to take up... We don't actually have to do anything this turn, theoretically speaking. We can knock out this Remoraid. Mew? No. I was hoping that can get us, like, a good card we can play to not get bodied by Zero Aura. Literally, if your opponent draws an energy here, they can cross-fist me, which is very annoying. Is 
up a bunch of needle queens, I guess. Yeah, we're not marning them, obviously. We're just going to hope that their top deck mode, like, just they stay in top deck mode for a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, the bench might be no, not like this. Fill up our hand, make it nice and thick. Yeah, Crossfist is really annoying. To be honest, we should probably quick shooting the Zerora because they're going to get two prizes, which takes out a lot of our attack. A crushing hammer? What the heck? And they get head, bro? Yo, relax, my... Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's not good. This is starting to get a little annoying. My opponent can actually jump and kick to all my Needle Queens so that Blaze can watch on them. We still get access to quick shooting. So we draw. Damn it. Look at our... Oh my god, our setup is so good. But I can't afford to play the Marnie. This is why I was like, bro, we maybe should save the Shady Dealings, which now I wish I did. Um, we can hit the Luxio. Bro, the chance they draw an energy are honestly so high. I actually do think we have to pick off this Zero Aura. There's a very good chance they draw an energy here. They're going to kill both of my Needle Queens. Oh, man. Mew, where are you at? They, like, they're... Okay, they still haven't drawn energy yet. Okay. Let's see if we draw. Ooh. We can KO them here. But... Okay, here's what we'll do. I'm actually not going to KO them. And here's why. Because as long as they don't Marnie me... Ooh, whoops. I quick... I click... Queen is calling by accident. We're going to quick shooting this thing twice. Right? Then we're going to pass. Then we're going to go next turn, knock out the Luxio if they don't get anything. They got the energy. I mean, it was it was about time they found it, but let's we'll see if they go cross fist here. They definitely are going to go. There's no way they're not going to do cross fist. Yeah. Is this rapid strike? It is. See if they knock out. They're going to go well, probably just double Needle Queen. It'd be nice if they let the one with the capture energy live, but... Oh, they actually hit an Inteleon. Hmm. Interesting. Where I wish I had a Brock's grid, but I mean, this could all have been changed. We had a Mew. However, we will get to KO them still, though, so that's good. We're one turn off, bruh. Dude, that's a scam. That's a scam. Do we Marnie them? I mean, we have to, right? They took a bunch of... Yeah, we have to Marnie them. We have to find Ornate Rod, like, ASAP. That is not an Ornate Rod. <clears throat> no, sir. Yikes. Ah, the Mew being prized, man. It's not good. We can still win this. It's not over, obviously, but it sucks we had to prize our Mew like that. Both Rods are in the deck. Here we go. Power Lariat. <laughs> Take it out. We can't get killed in return, which is good, so that's nice. Buy an extra turn. Mew! Oh, there we go. Got it. And we got a level ball. That's also pretty good. Still need to find the rod, so we can drizzle off a rod next turn, and then... I don't even... What do I get back? Inteleon Nidoran doesn't seem bad. I want to do double rod, actually, if anything. We're not in a bad spot, though. Alright, they got the Lux raid. Ugh. Okay, it's not... Okay, it's not the one I was thinking. That's not the Luxray. Because they have a, there's a Luxray when you evolve it, you can do 160 for one energy. That's the one I thought they were going to play. There's Blaziken VMAX. There's a Karina's Focus. Best top deck would be probably just another triple would be good. To, well, actually. Or, well, I don't know what our game plan is at this point. I mean, if they bench like another Zero Aura or something, we can just KO it to win the game and take our last two prizes. There's a Remoraid, and that's fine. I mean, they can Electro Step me here. I mean, they kind of have to be active, right? Because Blaziken can't one-shot it. See what they decide to do here. Yeah, the cross fist is pretty brutal. It is what it is, though. Honestly, in that scenario, a Brock's Grid would have been so good. But I'm obviously not going to play Brock's Grid. But it, maybe it should be a card we can include in here. I don't know. I mean, Brock's Grid would have been... Like, if we had a Brock's Grid, bro, look at that. We get back most of the Pokemon they KO'd. I don't know. Yeah, Bench Sniping is just a big issue for these Stage 2 decks. I'm going to miss Mew, man. I'm gonna, they need to reprint this so badly. So let's see what they do here. Electro Step. I mean, it has to be my active, right? It has to be the active. 
who they decide to hit. How many boss they played? They haven't played a boss yet, which is a little concerning. Okay. They could coordinate and bolt me. I mean, it doesn't really matter what they do, to be fair. Might have been a bit better, actually. If they went Blaziken here, and then we can draw a triple or something, and then just hit the Blaziken really hard, and then boss it down the road or something, or just KO with Inteleon. Yeah, they're electro-stepping. We could get, actually, a free prize here if they go into Remoraid, if they don't stay in the active. Yeah, they hit the active. All right, what do they do here? They do... F oh, they do feed me Blaziken. Aw, oh, we don't draw triple, though. We don't need the Mew just yet, so let's Drizzile or a Rod, first things first. Just get that Rod going. Well, we do have Shady Dealings. I actually don't even know if we really need Quick Shooting anymore, to be honest. Get back Sobble need a rain, I guess. Do we bench Mew, though, is the question. I mean, I don't hate it. Where do we do quick shooting, too? That's the other question. But again, it doesn't really matter, right? Hit the blades again. So I wish I played a Bird Keeper in this deck. That's one card I could see putting in here. Because Bird Keeper would have been so good here. We just go Drizzle Bird Keeper, going to Needle Queen Twin Energy, slam into this thing. I mean, it, it's probably going to kill me. We don't actually have to play um, the Mew just yet, actually, thinking about it. You just do this. Level ball for Sobble. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we really do in terms of how we sequence grabbing our Pokemon because we do have the Queen's Call. Get another energy down this turn. So, yeah, Needle Queen's going to die. It's fine. Then we can bench Mew next turn. I don't know. Not attacking this kind of sucks, but in fairness, I mean, we're going to... If they bench a Zeraora here, which they might try to go for... You know, I didn't mention Mew there, so like, oh, I'll just get Zeraora again and try to build it up with Max Blaze. And then I just go Shady Dealing's boss knockout. So that might just be how we win the game. We'll see what they do. They could Marnie me too. If, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. This is an interesting match, for sure. Their one prizers make things awkward. They also can't kill me with Zepstrika, which probably is what they'll do. Yeah, that's fine. They kill me that, and then we just go with the Fresh Needle Queen. I'll say I have a Fan of Waves, or another Hammer. They play a Milo. I, I mean, hopefully they just bench another Zeraora, so we can just win the game. That would just be greatly appreciated. No, they got another Hammer, bro! Oop. Still some triples. It's not that bad. Theoretically, we still have enough energy to attack. It's not really that big of a deal, but it is a big deal because I hate crushing hammer. There, it looks like they might go Luxray, maybe. Again, if they bench their aura, it'd be just awesome. I just love it if they bench this. If they bench their aura here, beautiful. Please bench one. I don't have immune play. I know you want to bench their aura. I know you want to do it so I can just win. No. Nope. So we're. I mean. I don't know. We could go after Blaziken, obviously. That is an option, too. Probably not worth it. Um, I don't know. It might be worth it, to be honest. How many triples? Just one. We can boss Blaziken. We only have the one Inteleon to work with, so it's not really worth it. Yeah. I also don't really want to get Ornay Rod. Probably just go Bruno. We'll burn the level ball. We're just going to burn some resources here. Quick shooting. What am I doing? Okay, we can bench Nidoran. They're not gonna bench snipe me. Um, quick shooting. I think we should still go after the blaze again. You know, it's still still gonna be a threat, right? We should probably still pick at it. No reason not to. Then we'll play the level ball just to, to burn it. We can quick ball here. I want to thin my resource as much as I can, so I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I'm just going to thin the resources. Again, we have Queen's Calling. It should not be a big deal. Then we'll Bruno. No triple. That's what I was hoping for. That's not ideal. We have the Marnie next turn. Here we go. Power Lariat. I don't know. If they didn't hit the hammerhead, we literally could have just won because we would have been doing 260. We could have boss killed that. There we go. We get our second triple of the prizes. Now that is game then, because we can kill the Luxray. All right, it paid off. 
this was a bit of a weird match. And this is, I mean, even with the bench sniping of Zeraora, we still were able to win. Even with the crushing hammers, we're still chilling. We'll see if my opponent can do anything about this. I mean, even if they knock me out and they stand me to one, we can still go Queen's Calling for shady dealings in Talion and then just get like research. So that should be fine. We should still be okay. There's a quick ball. Are they going to get Zeraora? That, that would suck. Because it's like, bro, you could have gotten that earlier. No, bro. If they got that, they got that last turn, bro. Would have won a turn earlier. Would have saved me time. So they do. Yeah, they're just gonna knock me out with scar strikes, and that's game over. Unless they stamp me to one, which they do not, and they're not even marnie me. So that's game. We can just knock them out with Needle Queen. Yeah, bit of an interesting game for sure. Uh, but that is the uh the power of Needle Queen, I guess, with Inteleon. Yeah, the bench sniping was a problem for sure, not having our Mew in the deck, but still winning, you know, we still managed to win the game, which still shows this deck still has some power behind it, which is nice. Quick shooting was also really good too. Very instrumental in knocking out Zero Aura. All right, here we go. I think we're up against ADP, judging from the deck box here. And ADP definitely is a matchup that we can beat, but it could be tough. All right, we do have a pretty solid opening hand though. Lots of basics, which is good. And best thing is we could maybe get a Needle Queen down right away. We'll see. All right, how do we start here? Need Arena. Oh, they played Sobble. I'm very curious to see what this could be. Not going to lie. Um, Got another Sobble, level ball. Very curious to see what this will be. Now, do we want to twin the active or the bench? Honestly, we're probably going to go research next turn. I think we'll do the bench. I mean, we're not going to get... I don't think we're going to get donked or anything, but like... I'm going to attach the bench because like, I don't actually know if we'll get any new queen off of our uh, thing. Now we can go, I mean, we could bite next turn. Honestly, if they put a Pokemon in the active spot that isn't Sobble, we could try to bite them, which might not be terrible. 30 damage is not terrible for us, but I don't want to waste many arenas. I don't know. They're playing Tina Chomp. We do have Mew. I did see it. Tina Chomp can't get one shot though with a full field. So we'll have to see. Uh, we see a level ball. So they are playing Giratina Garchomp here. Is this could be similar to the list I used. Maybe it's the same, might be the same list, I don't know. Uh, then if they are playing the same list, do they want to go for Cresselia? Because we did go first. They get access to the full-on Cresselia to power this up. If not, I'm feeling pretty good. There's a switch. Oh, they get linear attack right away. Yikes. So we have to get Mew down. Well, maybe not, actually. They can't kill. Well, yeah. Need Arena won't get KO'd. Do another Sobble. Don't mind if I do. I guess our active won't get KO'd either. This is actually not the worst spot to be in, to be fair. Do we put Twin on the active or do we just research and hope we find Rare Candy Needle Queen? Nah, we'll Twin the active. We can always call for family. It's actually pretty good. But we got Rare Candy Needle Queen. We didn't get the triple though, so. Kind of works out in the end, I think. So we can go do this. Or. Hmm. We already have even Wind Sense. Honestly, I don't even know what the heck I grab here, to be honest. I literally don't know what I want with this. <laughs> you know? I actually don't know what the heck I want to grab with this, bro. Every card, bro, like, we're going to call for family. I guess we'll grab a level ball. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you know what we could do? We could bite this turn. But I do want to bench another Pokemon. It honestly, I think it's better to call for family instead of bite. Well... Fight for 30 is not bad because we want, because we might struggle to knock this out if we don't get a full field of evolutions, which we should would. We also could just get Mew here, but they're not going to KO me, right? Yeah, let's just go bite. This is fine. We'll bite them. We also have capture in our hand, so we're going to get, yeah, this is fine. Sure. I'm fine with doing bite. I want to set this up to be KO because now we go Needle Queen and then Inteleon knockout without having to bench the extra basic Pokemon. Never mind, they play a big charm. Oh no, that is not good. That is definitely a bit of a problematic big charm, not gonna lie. Now, we'll see what they decide to do. Probably gonna get a research here. Yeah. That sucks, because we actually just tail this. If we KO this first Tina Chomp, I mean, it's gonna be very hard for them to power up on another one. Um, even though they do have access to Karate Bell, but they play big charm. I honestly don't know. Maybe they play Mewtwo Mew. Oh, Chris oh there's Cresselia. It's very similar to the list I use for my video. Um, and it's good they didn't get the turn one Cresselia either, which is good. They actually could use Cresselia in the matchup to attack my Needle Queen, though it's hard to get five energy in play, but that is something they could have used, especially early on if they did get the turn one Cresselia. Um, they are getting... Okay, they're getting Inteleons ready to go. That's fine, though, because once we establish our setup, we should be fine. Big Charm caught me off guard, though, not gonna lie. 
was not expecting that. What do they even grab here, though, that can really help them? Probably just want to set up for next turn. Look at Karate Belt, too, I guess, for the other Tina Chomp. I don't know. We'll see what they grab with this. Maybe a supporter if they don't have one. They do get Karate Belt, so that's fine. They still have to attach the active to attack me because we didn't kill the Sobble. That's why it's nice because we go Cresselia, right? They went Cresselia, we kill the Cresselia, they get Karate Belt. All right. Let's see, we draw. Ooh, that is really, really good. Problem is, they did get the thing, so it's not going to matter. So let's go Nidoran, Evo Incense for the Nido Queen. We have a very good start. It just sucks. If they didn't get the big charm, we literally could have KO'd them, which kind of stinks. Oh, good that we can go Queen's Call for another Needle Queen. And you can just see how good this is when we set up, right? It's like Needle Queen finds Drizzile, gets a supporter. You just love to see it, even though we already have a Drizzile. Actually, probably Marnie here. I don't really want to lose my Ordinary Rod. I'm going to try to keep it if I can. Um, yeah, well, Marnie. We could actually, oh, we could boss. We could boss the Tina Chomp on the bench. Not a terrible play. I mean, we can always one-shot this, right? But now they get access to linear attack, quick shooting on my Nidoran, which could be a little awkward. I think we just Marnie. Fine. Yeah, I'll settle with Marnie. Still hit them pretty hard. I actually, what I'm going to do... I think I will go for the... Well, first of all, we got a Queen's Call first. There's so much to do, it's insane, bro. It's insane. You no know, quick shooting. We're going to do 210 here. We can put 40. So we can do 250. We can actually leave them in a range of getting quick shooting again. So let's just double quick shooting this. We can do 250 damage. As long as they don't play Malolana or Pokemon Center Lady or something silly, we should just KO them next turn with another quick shooting. So that kind of works out well. Yeah, that's fine. We can get three prizes potentially, which is good. Let's see what my opponent does here. We can also knock them out with Waterfall if we want instead of using Needle Queen. Bro, no chance, dude. Bro, no way. Now they need... Well, they still need to find a switching card and an energy, and they have a two-card hand, and they got rid of an Aurora. So it's unlikely they have it. We have boss in hand, too. What? The perfect hand off my Marnie, bro? Bro, what the heck is that? That, bro, that's insane. That literally the perfect hand to counter the play I just did. That, I do. I'm speechless, bro. I'm actually speechless. Who's man? How do I sequence this now? Go shady dealings. We could go triple quick shooting. But I don't think we have to do that anymore. So I think we go shady dealings. We're not we're, just, we're not gonna do quick shade in this turn, so. We can grab Rod and Bruno. Or Rare Candy Bruno. Rare Candy Bruno, actually, is better. Yeah, Rare Candy Bruno. Sure. Sure, Ting. Yes, sir. Now, oh, they scooped the game. Never mind. All right, well, we'll take it. Anyways, I'm Rob the Day's Peachy guys, with the Needle Queen and Talion deck with these matches. Um, you could just see, I mean, that, that was a funny game there. But honestly, you saw how well the deck set up and everything. Like, literally, once you kind of establish a Needle Queen, you got Queen's Calling, you got Drizzle. The deck flows really, really well. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on this deck here one last time playing needle queen in standard with the intellion engine and uh, yeah it was a it's a fun deck to play i think it's actually pretty strong um my the biggest skill is heal might be men sniping to be honest because i mean we have mew but like you know it hinders our damage but i think it's honestly fine in the end um but yeah i really like the deck i don't honestly think i would change anything about the list to be honest like the list actually felt very fine like everything in the deck did its job I don't think we wasted a single card. So I think, I don't think I would change the list whatsoever. But you can, if you can make tweaks, you definitely could. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Help me with the road reaching 18k subs. We are very close to 18,000 subs. We are like less than 50 subscribers off of 18,000 subs. So if you guys have not subbed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button right now. Stop what you're doing. Hit that sub button. Also, follow me on Twitch down below too. I am trying to get partnered. And I'm streaming a lot more now. So follow me on Twitch down below. Also, check out Car Cabin. Use code LDF. Uh, That'll be it. Yeah, have a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on another PCO video. Bye-bye.